Hey guys, it's Lisa from Salty Lashes. We just finished filming our Yasso five minute summer pie video. So if you continue watching, you'll be able to see how we made ice cream pies for summer with our favorite frozen Greek yogurt. So today on our You Can Sit With Us, we're doing teen edition. Why are we doing teen edition? <laughs> Goldie's in a oh, bad mood. <laughs> Goldie's in a bad mood. Jeff's in the garage working and, and Ozzy so hyper. is really he is, hyper. So it made it very difficult to film. So currently Goldie and Ozzy are upstairs playing toys, pouting, you can hear it up there, and Jeff's out in the garage. So I asked you guys on story earlier today to send in questions that you might have, and I have a handful today that we're going to answer. The first one is perfect for you two. Do you, sorry, do or have any of your kids shared rooms before? Yes. Yes. Poppy and I shared a room until I was like 10 and then I got my own room and she shared with Goldie until a few years ago and now Goldie and Ozzy share a room. Yep. Now Avery and Poppy have their own rooms, but everyone has shared rooms. I mean, when you live, I mean, even in Arizona where the cost of living is lower, they still shared rooms. Yeah. I actually liked having you guys in the same room. Well, let's not do that again. You guys want to go back to the same room? I think we're good. <laughs> um, but yeah, they have all shared rooms, and I think it's really good for them too, because it teaches them to live with people. to just kind of be around each other in closer quarters. And but I will say, I'm going to retract my statement. Actually, having Goldie and Ozzy share a room is not that great. Um, the age difference is seven years and that's a lot of age difference and so keeping things quiet so Ozzy can sleep is a big challenge so we're still trying to figure how to out how to navigate all that so okay the next question no it's another question also also it's another question okay do your kids get allowances <laughs> yes, yes we do um on Saturdays and like Fridays and stuff, we'll do chores and me and Avery take turns. Like one week I'll do upstairs and the and then she'll do downstairs and the next week we'll switch and then we clean the entire upstairs, the entire downstairs, and we get twenty dollars. Yep. <laughs> Are you losing your voice? I don't know. Um. Okay. I actually am doing a whole blog post that I might even go live before this video. I'm not quite sure, um, but it is on chores for kids what's age appropriate for kids. And again, I don't think I have all the right answers for anything that is to do with parenting. I'm just trying to figure it out. But as far as what our rules are, I'm doing a whole post on chores for children. Okay, so they, yes, they get $20 each if they clean. Goldie is kind of at the age now where she cares more about getting money than she does about earning doing a decent job at some things and then she gets to go to target and pick out something yeah but these two it's all about cash because they have social lives they got things to do okay next question oh another one do you give your girls an allowance we just discussed that um do you plan on having your girls work once they're old enough um. so first let me say that even though legally they're not, you know, 16 of age to like have a job outside job, um, we treat our family site, Salty Lashes, as a job for the kids in yeah. some ways. Obviously, I run the site and 95% of the posts are me or different things that I'm doing. Um, when different campaigns come in for the kids, and they are paid collaborations, then each of the kids gets a percentage of that, which goes into savings accounts. Yes, they all have savings accounts, including Ozzy, and they do get a percentage of paid collaborations that they're involved in. Yes. So today, for instance, we are shooting, after this video, we're headed down to the beach and we're shooting a campaign for Lululemon's kids line, Aviva, which we've worked for several times in the past. Um, and each of the girls will get a set amount of money put in their savings account, which they will not touch because they're not allowed to. So they'll get that. 
<laughs> they'll get that when the time comes, when something that they need to pay for is big. Otherwise, if I gave it to them, it'd be gone by now on debit cards or something like that, which I'm not opposed to like doing that for other things. But if I gave it to them now, I don't know. I just think it's, I think it's good for them to learn that just because you're have money or getting money, it doesn't mean you just spend your money really quick that yeah. you're working towards a bigger goal, which could be a car, which could be college, which could be who knows what down the road. But so that's the answer for that one. Okay, another question. Poppy, this is, I'm gonna ask you, it's for both of them, but I'm gonna ask Poppy. Um, Poppy, are you and Avery allowed to date? No, we're not allowed to date until we're at least 16. 16, that's a good rule, right? Do you like that rule? I'm not opposed to it. Good, I like that answer. So this question is for me in regards to how I let my hair air dry. This reader asks, do I brush it and then let it air dry? Do I add any product or do I just get out of the shower? They feel like their hair gets puffy if it's just air dried and they want to know what my secret is. So my tip for this is that yes, I do not blow dry my hair. I have probably had my hair, a blow dryer on my hair. I don't know, it's only when I get my hair highlighted and they do a blowout after. That's the only time I blow dry my hair. So what I do, as soon as I get out of the shower, I will take a towel and just lightly um, take some of the moisture out of my ends. And then I will brush my hair with my wet brush. And then I add my Kerastase Shine Serum from about ear length down. So I'll bring everything, bring it like this, run it through about a pump and a half. And then I brush my hair again and let's it, I let it air dry. I think the secret though is don't touch your hair. I think that's a mistake people like try to touch their hair more, to check and see if it's air dried, just don't touch it. And for me personally, if I have the shine serum in my hair and my hair's parted and I just let it go, I have a couple curls in it right now, but typically on Instagram story, you'll see my hair just naturally air dried. So that would be my secret for getting your hair air dried. My hair's not air dry. Avery says her hair does not air dry, but I'm gonna watch her because my guess is Avery touches her hair, and she does, because she's always flipping it side to side. No, sorry. sorry. When it's wet, yes you do. Stop. You totally do. Stop. That's why, guys. Do you see she her? She needs to stop touching her hair. Do you see her? You do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the last question for this, because we are definitely running out of light here, and mm -hmm. we don't have any lighting set up. Um, any tips on maintaining or demonstrating grace when other people are not so nice? So this is something, it's very easy to get in a box and in a box I mean when someone says something mean to you or isn't cool to you it's very easy to get defensive defensive and it's very easy to take it personal and to have your feelings hurt and I'm definitely guilty of all of those things but what I ultimately know and what I'm always teaching the kids is what it speaks more about them and what they're going through than it does about you and how they think of you. And it also just always be nice to people, even if they're mean, just try yeah. to be nice and ignore it. Right? Yeah, I really think that. Like, regardless of what someone says about you, it may or may not be true. Like, exactly. but it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't even matter. A, it's their opinion. So that's something to consider. It's yeah. definitely their opinion. Some people and won't like you. Not everyone likes you. You have to be okay with that. I mean, it's not like the best feeling to know that, but you it's like true. It. And I think that that's just, some people just don't vibe and that's okay. But I do think if somebody is going out of their way to be mean to you or to speak badly about you or whatever it may be, I think that is way more about them than it is about you. And that's something, especially with talking to teenagers, that is something I'm constantly having to remind these girls about is if someone says something bad about them, that's their problem. That's on them. That's actually not on you. You. That's on them. So that is something to always consider is my mom always taught me, you kill them with kindness. And you, say, you kill a mockingbird. Is what? I thought you were going to say to kill a mockingbird. No, I'm not talking about the book to kill I'm sorry. I just was reading that. So I was just like, that would be a reaction. <laughs> Did you think I was talking about that book? No. No. Well, she hasn't read it. I've been reading in class the last semester. Oh. So, anyway, that's my advice. 
It speaks more about them than it does about you. Always be kind. Don't get yourself in a box where you are defensive because I have definitely been guilty of that. Um, and just be nice. Yeah. Don't worry about what, what people say about you because it's not your problem, it's their problem. Thanks for watching the three of us on a special edition of Teens You Can Sit With Us. Isn't that cool you can call a special edition just because nobody else came? You can sit with half of us. <laughs> you can sit with half of us. Next time, everyone will be here. So send in your questions and we will be back to answer more. Thanks for watching. Bye.